Well, good afternoon, everybody. Friday. Scorching sun again. Oh, I could live with this. I really could live in Spain, I could, I think. Having glorious sun every day. Right, what do we got? So, so far, on lockdown, I've clocked up 400 miles. Let's go! So today's mission, we got to go and get some essentials from Sainsbury's and some daily exercise. So on the way to Sainsbury's, I'm coming through the beautiful Clint, which is literally just down the road from where I live. What a stunning place it is basking in the sun. Tell you what, this is just like summer this is, isn't it? It's like a summer's day. Absolutely stun terrific. There's a beautiful property here. Looks like it's an old farm, I don't know if you can see. And obviously it's derelict, but man, you imagine the property you could build there. You could even have your own little campsite. Motor rev camping. But yeah, this is a, a beautiful area. Somewhere we would like to live. As you said, you're only two minutes really from the city so you've got everything you need but you've also got a bit of countryside around you so you've got a bit of Greenland so we've had a busy couple of days we've had to build Trent is Jurassic Park dinosaur perimeter enclosure out of some metal wire grid type fence thing so I've had to get the grinder off my dad to grind all that up and I got through a whole bag of cable toys making it so now he's got a proper dinosaur reinforcement. He absolutely loves it. He saw it on YouTube, some, some other kid had made one and that was it. Dad, we've got to make one of them. So I had to get the tools, get to the station and build him the goods. Here's some little footage of him, the little ferret, with his new Jurassic Park arena. So today, we are making a dinosaur cage. We're making his Jurassic Park. What we made? A cage. A cage, what's the cage for? For my dinosaurs. A dinosaur cage. It's only took me two hours, 5,000 cable toys. Three grinders, discs. Dad, we we're done. So who are we feeding first? The herbivores. So you're feeding them vegetables. Yeah. Go on then. Oh, very good. Okay. Well, we're feeding the carnivores. <coughs> what? Is yeah. that good? I've also, I've lost track now how many days we've been in a tent. I'm pretty sure we're, up, we're around 20, 21 days now, it's got to be, it's got to be three weeks. We're still enjoying it, while the weather's like this, why not? It's a bit of fun, it's something different. And plus, I've got two cats. A black cat with a white chin 
Jax named after Jax from Sons of Anarchy now he doesn't like a lot of fuss that cat and really if you play with him he kind of turns into attack mode he doesn't play very well a bit more of a quiet cat now my other cat Opie also named after the character in Sons of Anarchy is the white cat the fat one the big stupid one he's like Garfield now every night he comes in the tent he likes to curl up on the bottom of my airbed and go to sleep well last night Jax the black cat decided to get onto the roof of the inner tent and Opie the fat cat tried to fight him this was about half past one this morning so I managed to get a bit of footage of it just so you can see what goes on in a tent in April in Birmingham and they're fighting each other through the tent Jax what the f*** are you doing for f sake he's on the roof Go down. Psst. Jesus. H. Psst. What are you doing? Look at his eyes. I hope he's doing some of his medicine. I've got to say, some of the properties around here, oh, that's a die for. There's two houses. There's one house, which is just here on shooties. It's now up for sale. Let's see if we can have a quick look at it. Look at this, though. Look at this for April. Here it is. This is the house. Right, let's see if we can pull up. I don't know how much we can see. Here we go. Look at that baby. Look at that garage. Oh, my life. I could live in that garage. That is absolutely stunning. That could be a proper workshop, that could. Don't know if we can see through the trees. Well, look at that. That is a stunning house. Front door in the middle. I like that where the front door is in the middle. That is a beautiful looking property. I'll see if I can find it on Google Maps. We'll have a look at the grounds to it. Oh, we see even got a little granny flat with it. <laughs> now the other house, just down here as we turn this bend. This house is mega. Here we go. Look at this baby. Look at that. 1868 it was built. You imagine. What you could do with an house like that. Oh. But those are obviously way out of our price range. Well, let's go and have a walk. Let's go and get some exercise. I wonder what, what's up that road. I've never been up there. Let's pull in here. Children actually for doing me Thunderfoot here. I 
think I might do it a bit. Let's get the Thunderfoot out. We haven't used her in a few months. Can't remember last time I used her. I think it was when we went to Snowdonia. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Beautiful. Yeah, there's a nice little walking trail up here. I think we'll go and have a look. A nice walk up there and I've got to say geez it ain't no fun walking up a road like this with motorbike boots on I must remember to bring my trainers next time geez Oh, I'll tell you what. My legs are tired now walking up there with my boots. Jeez. Some lovely little roads these are. They're not fast roads, but they're lovely.
I love the little village this is. Clent. You wouldn't think it's here on the doorstep of Birmingham. And that, I believe, is looking out to Worcester, I think, Worcester Malvern Way. Oh, I could just murder. A nice juicy half oh, a lager. Ice cold. That oh, would be nice. And that's it. That's the end of Clint. I'm getting a bit of brain freeze off that vent at the top of the helmet. Oh, the eyebrows freezing. Brain freeze, the brain freeze. Oh. This weekend I need to look into this rectifier regulator on my bike. Been watching. Kev's shed videos. Um, I'll put a link up to him. Wicked channel. I've learned so much from his channel. It was his channel where I did all these mods on the bike. The uh, snorkel mod and the other quick mods uh, which are very popular on VFRs. Uh, but yeah he shows you replacing the regulator rectifier and apparently it's a common thing on these VFRs. There is problems with them. So I need to check if I've got the original one installed and whether I need to replace it. I mean I've had no problems with this, no starting, uh, anything like that. Now I know Stuart Thorpe's got the same bike as me, same colour. And he's had a problem recently switching the bike, the bike switches on, starts, fine. But the headlights don't come on. After about five minutes the headlights then switch on, so I'm not sure if that's related to that. Because uh, on these VFRs you can't switch the headlights off. They come on automatic. But Kev Shed did mention that there are some very cheap versions available on eBay. Um, so whether he's ended up having one of them fitted. He didn't do it himself, somebody else did it. So whether he's got the cheap one fitted and he isn't aware of it, his problem might have returned. But so far I've had no problem with mine so we shall see but yeah go check out Kev's shed there's a whole wide range of repairs on there even cars too so go check him out right I'm stopping you and I'm stopping you. We've got our supplies. We've got our parcel loaded. Let's just hope it stays on. I'm not going to tell you what it is in the box because little Trent watches these videos and that box contains an item. All it says is toys on the box. That's all you need to know. You can all probably guess what it is. Because we all know what he likes. Right then. Let's get ourselves back home so I can get these sweaty boots off. Because my feel, feel, my feet, 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 my feet, 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 my feet, feet, my feet, feet, feel like I'm falling off. I've sweated to death. Right then. Right, it is time to head 
home. I think I might get in the pool today with the kids. Oh, what's the bike say? 25 degrees. So guys, until the next one. Let's hope the sun still keeps shining. Be safe, stay safe, and if you're out on your bike, ride safe. Today, we've got a little mission. Trenty don't know yet, but it's been going on for months and months about a colossal Brachiosaurus. So yesterday, guess what I collected? I got him the colossal Brachiosaurus. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hide this in the tent. And then I'll hide the GoPro so we can see his reaction when he finds it. So that's it. 42 inches tall. That's what he's been going on about. So I'll leave it like that and hopefully he'll go in the tent and open the box and have a look. Let's go and hide it. I'm going to stay to the garden. So if I put it there, where shall I put the GoPro? Let's put the GoPro on here. You're watching them. Have a look, the dinosaurs made a mess in the tent. Can have a look? In the porch. Go and have a look. I know it's in the porch. It's not a mess in here. What's in there then? A box. <gasps> How did that get in there? What is it? The Brachiosaurus. How did that come in here? I wonder where that come from. It is massive. Box. I love this box. I'd say because you've been a good boy, haven't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. It's your building. Yeah! Oh, he likes it. <gasps> oh, man! Look at the size of that for a body. Mum, look at his body. Yeah. Let's put his neck on. It's massive. It's mm. massive. <laughs> what, where's his tail? Here, here. Where is it? Is it around there? Oh, here. Remember his tail is pointing up. Wait, let me try and open his, his mouth open. His tail is pointing up. His tail is pointing up. That's so big, he is, he's massive. Oh, wow. He's wicked. Wait, I want to You happy? Yeah, a little bit. Look, Dad. Look, remember. Look, the oh, Indominus Rex got him and he fell over. Oh, my life. Oh, his neck moves. Oh, 
It can bend down to eat the vegetables on the grass. Or drink. Look, his mouth fell open. What's it? these ones? Ooh la la. They're the glasses of ones here. <gasps> You'll be able to see now properly. You've got to be careful with them. Yeah, be gentle. Oh, look at them with the dinosaurs. Try them on. I don't see you too bigger. <laughs> you can see us bigger. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You can see the Brachiosaurus bigger. Is that, be is that better to see through? Yeah. Is it? Like when I take them off you can go smaller. Yeah. Your hand is bigger than it's meant to be.